certainly have a lot uh, of experience in multi-platform productions. Um, how many years have you been uh, developing such projects and what are the biggest challenges? Uh, good question. So I've been in this for about uh, coming up to 12 years now. So I actually used to be an architect, but I've given that up to write and make films and got involved uh, with this. But I think my main uh, challenges, as, as you've asked, is how to actually not, not just create these projects, but actually get an audience to understand that, you know, this is something they can engage with and get some value from. Because I don't think that the industry at the moment has shifted to a place where multi-platform or transmedia is actually ubiquitous and pervasive. So when we get there, hopefully some of the stuff that I'm doing now will be uh, more valuable. Well, you've mentioned the industry and then for the last two days we've had a lot of different examples of transmedia productions, some of them uh, focusing on uh, business uh, projects. And what you've presented today is very much a social issue. Can you tell a bit more about searching? So searching for me uh, was an idea that came out of an article that I read in a newspaper. Um, so it, w it was basically talking about forced marriages and honor killings and the fact that this is an issue that even though it exists in a big way, not a lot of people seem to know about it. And I at the time was very interested in how you can use storytelling uh, to make a difference, to create some sort of awareness. Um, so searching was born out of that. It's a way of using transmedia storytelling to see if we can raise awareness and eventually eradicate honor crimes and forced marriages. So it's interesting at the moment because the project, there's lots of different storytelling elements, but I'm very keen to not Yes, it's about social issues, but I don't want it to be about propaganda or activism. I want it to be about education and awareness. Um, are there any means of actually um, evaluating the, uh, how successful the project has been in terms of raising the awareness? Um, at the moment, because we've, um, so the film project was a finalist at Sundance, so when that finally gets out there, we'll be able to gauge, you know, with known metrics exactly how successful it was. But I'm implementing quite a few transmedia elements, um, and I, I use an experienced design methodology uh, that I've developed uh, to actually sort of look at how users interact with the experiences, um, how, how much emotional sort of engagement there is, and I'm using that as a measurement tool to gauge success. But um, it's all a bit sort of DIY at the moment, but um, hopefully as more of this comes into the public domain, there'll be better metrics to you know, gauge how, how successful it is. I hope it pans out wonderfully. And just one more, maybe not a question, but uh, well, a, a question for you to make a comment on, on the film interactive market, which was um, our f film interactive. I mean, it's been going on for the last three years, but the market is a totally new component. And um, how do you uh, evaluate it as a commissioner of this year's event? Um, I thought it was successful. Um, I thought it was a great idea. Um, and I actually think that um, having a market element to something like this is very necessary. There's three reasons for that. Is one, a lot of these conferences at the moment, which are about multi-platform and transmedia, have lots of speakers who talk and then you go away and don't think about it. So the market, what the market does firstly, is allow another form of engagement and you know, interactivity between the audience, the projects, the content, and the people who have a say in whether this content gets made. Second, it gives people a chance. There's a, there's a huge gap between um, the people who have the money and the sort of opportunity and those who have the potential. And there seems to be in the industry at the moment a huge gap between the two. So what this kind of stuff does is really gives people a chance to be inspired and to take that risk to create. And third, it was just, you know, amazing to see something like this available, you know, in Poland, you know, at the sort of Wodge Film School, which is, and it, it was just inspiring, I think, to create conversation. So I, I think, I hope it continues, and I think it was very successful. Thank you for your good words, and uh, let's keep our fingers crossed for the, for the future editions. Uh, thanks, Adipa, and um, spread the word across the world. Yes, <laughs> I will. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.